Egg Drop Syndrome, EDS, in laying hens. With this article, Zukami's technical team intends to present tips that help our customers to know and identify the egg drop syndrome. This disease has a great economic impact as it considerably affects production. What is egg drop syndrome, or EDS? The egg drop syndrome, EDS, is a pathology that affects laying hens and is transmitted throughout the egg. All breeds can be infected, but it has been reported that broiler breeders and brown egg birds are more susceptible. Horizontal transmission occurs slowly in the cage system and quickly in floor laying systems and layer farms. Contaminated eggs, as well as egg trays or feces, appear to be the main sources of virus spread. However, some outbreaks have been attributed to contact with wild birds or water contaminated by feces. What are the symptoms of EDS? The disease is mainly characterized by a drop in egg production early in the laying period or by a sudden drop in production later in the laying period. Early on, symptoms include shelled and thin-shelled eggs, deformed eggs, and, in the case of brown eggs, a loss of shell color. In addition, the whites of these eggs are very watery and there is considerable variation in egg weight. The most common symptoms in birds are decrease in feed consumption, the crest becomes pale, appearance of slight diarrhea. Although the signs of EDS are quite characteristic, the diagnosis should not be made by the clinical picture alone, but should be confirmed by laboratory testing, as several infectious and non-infectious causes can lead to a decrease in egg production and can impair external and internal egg quality. In addition, several non-infectious factors, such as stocking density, management, and feed and water quality, are implicated in egg production losses and should be taken into account. EDS and its consequences on production. Outbreaks of EDS typically last four to 10 weeks, and a 10 to 40% drop in egg production can be expected. The time it takes for a bird to return to normal laying can be four to eight weeks, and in many cases, the production curve is below normal. The decrease in egg production is related to the pathological effects that this adenovirus causes in the reproductive system of laying hens. EDS produces minimal lesions and they are limited to the reproductive tract of laying hens, where inactive ovaries, atrophy of the oviducts, and edema and white exudates in the uterus can be found. Prevention of the egg drop syndrome. There is no effective treatment for EDS. The prevention strategy should be based on a strict biosecurity plan. Proper cleaning and disinfection of equipment in contact with eggs, especially egg trays, which are known to be a major factor in the spread of the disease, in addition to restricting the entry of visitors. Vaccination with an inactivated virus prior to laying is especially important to prevent egg production losses and reduced eggshell quality in commercial and breeder layer flocks. Initial vaccination is done between 14 and 16 weeks of age. Zukami, Modern Poultry Farming.